story by Robert Munch, illustrated by Dave Wamund. On Saturday, when Ashley was sitting at the breakfast table, her mother came in and said, Look at your hair! It's a mess! It needs a few braids. A few? yelled Ashley. You always put in a million braids and you pull on my hair and it hurts and it takes all day. No, no, no. My hair is okay to just go out and play. Then Ashley ran around the house screaming, Ah! 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 While her mother tried to catch her. After they had gone around the house 17 times, Ashley's mother caught her, sat her on a chair, and started to braid her hair. It took two hours because Ashley's mom braided her hair back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and up and down and up and down and up and down and round and round and round and round and round and round. When she was done, Ashley looked in the mirror and said, Oh, look, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. But it took forever. I wish you didn't like to braid my hair. Ashley went outside and sat down on the front steps. People came by and said, Hey, Ashley, nice hair. And Ashley didn't say anything. Then Ashley's grandmother came by. She said, Ashley, what wonderful braids. But why are you so mad? It's that mother of mine, said Ashley. She likes to braid my hair and it takes all day. Some kids go to the mall. Some kids play games. I just get my hair braided. Do you know? said her grandmother. Why your mother likes to braid like that? No, said Ashley. She learned it from me, said her grandmother. When your mom was a little girl, I used to braid her hair all the time. It took all day. How come you don't braid her hair now, said Ashley. Can't catch her, said her grandmother. Maybe both of us could catch her said Ashley. Good idea, said her grandmother. So they went into the house and Ashley's grandmother said to Ashley's mother, Look at your hair! It needs some braids! No, 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 yelled Ashley's mom. I am grown up now and I have important things to do. No, 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 no! Ashley's grandmother said, Now come on, sweet pea, I'm going to braid your hair. Ashley's mom ran around the house screaming, Ah! 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 While Ashley and her grandmother tried to catch her. They chased Ashley's mother around the house 17 times until they finally caught her. Then they sat her in a chair and braided her hair for three hours. It took three hours because they braided her hair back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and up and down and up and down and up and down and round and round and round and round and round and round. When they were done, Ashley's mother looked in the mirror and said, Oh, look, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. But it took forever. I wish you didn't like to braid my hair. Then Ashley and her mother sat out on the front steps. Ashley's teacher came by and said, My, what lovely braids. I wish I had hair like that. Let's get her, said Ashley. Get who, said the teacher. Get you, said Ashley. We're going to braid your hair and it will take all day. Ah, yelled the teacher. She ran down the street and Ashley and her mom and her grandmother and all the neighbors ran after her. 
They chased the teacher around the block 17 times until Ashley finally caught her. Then they sat her on a mailbox and braided her hair. It took six hours because they braided it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and up and down and up and down and up and down and round and round and round and round and round and round. When they were done, the teacher had a thousand little braids in her hair. She looked sort of like a porcupine. Looks nice, said Ashley's grandmother. Looks great, said Ashley's mother. Wow, said Ashley's teacher. I'm going to wear these braids to school. And Ashley decided not to tell her teacher that sometimes people just do not look good in braids.